Well, I started my football career playing for Earlwood Wanderers. That was my junior club. And um, here at Arlington Oval, I played many rep games. And then from there, I went over to Sydney Olympic at the age of 13. The senior coach saw something in me and um, I played my first first grade game at just over the age of 15. And from there, I just progressed through to, to youth team football for Australia, then obviously the senior team and finished up my career at Olympic. Um, and that was basically it. Every game virtually was a derby in many cases. You know, you had the Arpias and the Marconis and, you know, Wollongong and St George. And after a couple of years, they brought the Australian NSL together. So we were obviously playing against Adelaide City, uh, South Melbourne, Brisbane. So the atmosphere was great all around. Obviously captaining the, the youth team in, in 1981 at the sports stadium against Argentina, who were the world champions at that stage. I captained the senior team in Indonesia. I see that as one of the highlights as well. I think the past is important to a certain extent. You know, we're in a new generation, we're in a new league, football's changed throughout the world. But one of the issues that we have is because it's much easier for our younger players to go overseas now and they're leaving at a much younger age and not playing in the in the A-League, I think that's, that's a negative. So we've got to somehow try to keep our youngest best talent here where the fans can latch on to some of the so-called superstars of Australian football and and you know, turn up to the grounds.